Hi, I'm Sayan, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I'm going to show you how to retrieve an Amazon S3 object that was deleted in a versioning enabled bucket. Let's get started. When versioning is enabled for an S3 bucket and an object or file is deleted using a delete object request, then a delete marker is placed on the file. Basically, if you delete an object, instead of removing it permanently, Amazon S3 inserts a delete marker on the file, which becomes the current version of that object. Now, S3 will behave as if it is deleted, and if you make a simple get request for that file or object, S3 will return an error. There are two options you can use to retrieve the deleted object. Option one, when the delete marker becomes the current version, the actual object in your delete request becomes the older version of the object. You can retrieve directly this older version of the object in your get request, provided you have the necessary S3 get object version permission. Option two, you can remove the delete marker itself of the object. Then actual object that was previously deleted becomes the latest version. This means that a simple get request retrieves the actual object. To delete the delete marker, you must have the permission to delete object versions in the bucket, which is S3 delete object version. Also, you must do this from the account that owns or created the bucket. Note that if the bucket has MFA delete enabled, you must use the designated multi-factor authentication, MFA, to remove the delete marker. In this video, I'll show you these two options through AWS Management Console and also through AWS CLI. First, let's delete an object from my bucket. As you can see, I'm logged into the AWS Management Console. Go to the S3 Management Console. Select the bucket. Now, as you can see, this is a versioning enabled bucket. Let's go to the object example.txt. Now let's delete the object example.txt. As you can see, the object is removed from the standard list view of the console. Now let's try accessing the actual object which we deleted using option one. Choose show and go to the object that you want to retrieve. The show view shows the delete markers and the previous versions of all the objects. You can search for the object in the search bar. Because the file example.txt was uploaded after versioning was enabled, it has an alphanumeric version ID. Otherwise, the version ID would be null. Note the newly placed delete marker. Now, if you just go to previous version, which is the actual object and download it, you can get the object. Let me show you how to access the object through AWS CLI. I have configured AWS CLI with one of my IAM users of this account. To access the object, let's make a get object command and specify the version ID of the deleted object. You can get the version ID of the actual object through the S3 console as shown earlier, or you can get it through the output of the list object versions command for the object. Note that the command lists all the objects beginning with example.txt, like example.txt1, example.txt2. Note this fact and filter the output accordingly. From the versions of the commands output, copy the version ID of the object that we want to retrieve. Then let's run the get object command for this specific version. As you can see, the command was successful. We have downloaded the object. Now let me explain the option two that deletes the latest delete marker itself. Let's do it through console first. Just as you did earlier, choose show and then search for your object. Let's get to the topmost or latest version, which is the delete marker. Now delete it. After doing this, you can see that the example.txt has become the latest version. And you can find it in the standard height view as well. From there, you can simply download it as you download other objects. Now let me explain to you how to use this option, which is deleting the delete marker through AWS CLI. I just deleted the object example.txt again for this demonstration. So the first step is to find the version ID of the latest delete marker. 
You can find that from the console in the similar way to what I showed you, or you can do that from AWCLI by listing all your latest delete markers through this command. This shows all the objects which are currently in the deleted status. From the commands output, find the object you want to retrieve, which in this case is example.txt. Note the version ID of its delete marker. Now do a delete object command specifying this version ID. As you can see, the delete object command was successful. The delete marker is now deleted. Now run this command to list all the objects in the bucket. Verify that the previously deleted object is now included in the list. Now you can do a simple AWS S3 CP or AWS S3 API get object to access the actual object, example.txt. It's now the latest version after deleting the latest delete marker. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.